Just waiting for my computer to finish rendering. I'm using Miro Video Converter to convert from uh, MP4 to WebM because the file size is small and the quality is not all that different. Uh, also waiting for my slow cooker to finish. And then I'm all up to date, yes, with the whole video blogging lark. Actually, the light might not be very good. I might be too bright there. All up to date, everything sorted, car sorted. It's going to probably be about minus five ish in the morning so i prepared the car in terms of making sure that i can get in it quick and and take the thing off the front and another week ahead um i've got to go and take my computer off site in a minute uh i've got the box and everything ready what else um tidy up the caravan watch a film have some tea start of a new week i feel a bit more refreshed this week now i think it took me a couple of days to really recover this week from um, from work and I banged on about it I know but um, I'm pretty set now and now I've got a positive number in my mind a number of weeks I'm going to start working on um, on the text oh that's one thing I must do after these videos finished I'm doing a little calendar for the Beehive site um, yeah so I picked up the pace yesterday I was all a bit despondent and a bit down but actually I'm a bit more clearer and clarity today and that's kind of how it happens with me. I go through sort of peaks and troughs of it all. But I'm quite clear where I'm going at the end of the week. I'm quite clear what I've got to get done before the start of February. Got to get the um, Airbnb stuff up pretty soon for the pod. That'll be interesting to see how well that goes. Uh, I've already spoke to Epilogue. I need to speak to them again about business leasing options. How much that actually costs per month or quarter or whatever they do with their laser cutter. And then, while I'm in London, I might actually do a few emails and investigate the barista courses as well. So yeah, positive, picked up, picked up at the moment. And mainly because I panicked, I guess, because my birthday, normally on my birthday, I'm kind of, like the day before, I feel sort of renewed. But I didn't feel it this, this time. Maybe a, a bit like Doctor Who, I'm not regenerating just yet. But um, I'm seeing something out the corner of my eye, that's very weird. Oh, it's the scratch on my on my glass, actually. Yeah, it's refracting that light off that lens. Very weird. Yeah, so I've, I've not, uh, I've not kind of re-energized for my birthday, but I, I do feel upbeat today. I do feel a sense of renewed uh, purpose, and I think I was getting into January. You know, seventeenth February is going to be here before you know it, and I, I don't want to be in a situation where I don't enjoy summer. As, as you know, last year I didn't really enjoy it because I was still finding my feet with the van and everything. And this year I want to have barbecues and some people up and. Christmas, I want to go away for Christmas next year. I did nothing this year and it wasn't great. So, yeah. I know they're miles away, but, like, it's nearly... It will nearly be February before you know it. That's the way things happen with me. I should have... When I never have my computer here, I don't... I have my iPad mini, but I don't really have any other computer to work on, so I don't have that native sort of keyboard, Google Drive, and that kind of access to technology as I used to when I was in the co-working so I don't have so I have a bit more time freed up because I'm not doing it but I know I need to get back into it so I've been looking at Chromebooks recently um, again it matters that I have a solid Wi-Fi network so you won't probably won't be able to see it very well but one of the apps that I use is uh, he says not being able to find it anymore it is in here organized is lovely charts and so I put together a uh, Wi-Fi install you probably can't see this very well but um, it's basically the Air OS router which I've been looking at and uh, connecting many thing drop cam the Wemo sockets all to the router an outdoor aerial a sort of power over Ethernet aerial so um, when I'm outside or um, the whole site could effectively I could scale it up effectively to have a 4G connection with my polka spots aerial on it so I could do SMS payments or people can like a page for instance the the um, beehive page to get access and then I can rate limiting them stuff like that I can do all that in the box box portal which is really nice but then I've also been looking at the solar power backup the data sim and then the sort of aerial on the window and that, that's the most important thing actually here is that when I'm in the van because they're insulated it seems to block out the signal so if i put an aerial in one of the windows or up on the roof then it'll, i can put a wi-fi network in here and just connect to that rather than using my ipad mini to tether off 
Um, so that's my next big project, and I will be explaining that on YouTube. I will go into it in detail as I roll it out because there's many parts to it as well. It's not just get a router, put an aerial into it. It's going to be how much bandwidth I need, redundancy power. Um, I haven't got an actual battery on on the caravan yet. Ever since I've bought it, it's always just been mains powered. It never came with a battery. So I've been I've got to look at sort of ledger batteries in in terms of charging them. But that's my first project that I need to get off the ground so that all the other stuff can flow the, the, the Chromebook and and everything else but the um, the Wemo sockets was because I wanted to be able to remotely turn on heating on and off when I'm on a job or on a shift and also from a security perspective as well so all good all good um, just wait for my uh, slow cooker now and um, these things to encode and I'm gonna start working on a, a CSS HTML5 uh, calendar. I found some code. I'm just going to see if I can make it work with the existing page we've got. And then film, early night, work again. Should mention I have a temporary media solution. I use XMBC. You may have seen it. It's uh, Open Elect. Open E L E C is the image file. And uh, you can literally drop it onto a SD card and put it on a, a Raspberry Pi. HDMI out audio out, I've got my drive, USB drive and films and various things on there and power which eventually that's going to be powered from solar and uh, just bracketed it on the wall and I've got like something I can watch at night, I don't have to pull out a mega big PC, I've just got like a 25, 30 quid Raspberry Pi and a screen. Uh, this is actually one of the Pi Street screens because I had one knocking around spare so I'll put that up for the time being but um, I've just updated that over Wi-Fi on my tethered on my iPad from version 4 which I think was Gotham to 4.2.1 but I think they released RC5 release candidate 5 over Christmas and it didn't update to that so I'm not sure if it needed 4.21 first before it put 5 on but I'm gonna get 5 as well and see what that's like but if you're looking to build a really cheap kind of media center uh, and I think you can even get like a USB stick for digital uh, free-to-air channels as well that works with the Raspberry Pi um, I'm going to do more on the Raspberry Pi and the Media Center as I integrate it properly. It's not integrated yet, it's wires everywhere, it's a bit of a mess. Um, it's very ghetto, but once I get it up and running, I'll do a bit of a, a video course on that and integrating that, because I'm, I'm going to integrate a few more screens than just this one in here regarding you know all sorts of things, stats, Twitter, uh, sensors, all that sort of stuff, running off the Raspberry Pi, so I'm going to have to dig deep and read a book about Python and all sorts of stuff. So. That's coming soon. It's not always going to be about me talking to the camera, vlogging. There is going to be some techie stuff in there at some point. 